you've been doing your research. No, I don't have to do my research. This <laughs> is we all know. Uh, I mean, as far as what's the, what's the crop? Uh, I don't know what the yields are. Our farmers are actually doing double digit. They farm mm -hmm. tens of thousands of acres. So they may just do an application and out of Okay, here we go. Call to order the meeting of the Rock of Special Meeting of the Rock of Fire Protection District for Thursday, May 2nd, 5 p.m. Call to order Trustee Snowden. Here. Trustee Grum. Here. Trustee Rogers here. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Public comment. District allows and allocates time for those of individuals who would like the opportunity to address the fire. District trustees on any matters not listed on the agenda. Each person addressing trustees is asked to limit their time to a maximum of three minutes. Does anybody have any comments? Going once, going twice. Number four, consideration of bids of the sale of surplus real estate, 14 Skokie Highway, Lake Bluff, Illinois. Per resolution 2019-01 and 70 ILCS 705-10AB as Supplemented by additional information <clears throat> to appraiser on April 9, 2019, and from the appraiser on April 12th. Discussion action. Brian. Um, okay, just a little history. On April 8th, we opened up. There were some questions about the appraisal for the board's direction on April 9th. They sent a letter to the appraiser asking for clarification. On April 12th, I got a response back to that. As we noted on April 3rd, we received appraisals from three different entities, uh, Caleb House, Water Street Partners, LLC, and Gallery 200, LLC. Uh, and subsequently, I sent out correspondence to the three bidders on April 18th, advising them, advising them of the additional information relating to the bid and soliciting an updated bid should they choose to submit one. Uh, the letter identified the results of the bid opening on April 8th. It identified the information requested by the board in my letter of April 9th to the appraiser and it included the re reply from the appraiser uh, dated April 12th. So everybody had any, any revised bids were based on the full information. On April 22nd, I had to change the date of the meeting from May 1st to May 2nd in order to comply with the open meetings. So everybody's talking from the same sheet of music. Um, two updated bids were submitted. Uh, Caleb House did not submit an updated bid, therefore their original bid stands. I have copies of that, that bid here for the, you know, for the board's reference. Two other bids were updated bids were received. I have them here. I think they haven't been opened yet. Uh, the first bid in order of the, the date received received on uh, this one here some Friday. To read it. <clears throat> received on Friday the 26th uh, was from Water Street Partners LLC. Uh, we'll open that now. Before we get started, too, I would just like to thank those bidders who are still with us. Uh, I appreciate the extra effort and time that you had to spend on this, uh, despite what I would consider uh, rather irresponsible and unprofessional uh, actions by a member of this board. So again, I thank you for being here and being a part of this. I think those comments are rather uh, inappropriate and not very helpful. Water Street Partners, they identify this bid, which is updated bid and supersedes the prior bids, as bid option D. Um, 
Concurs with the term for the legal notice and purchase price of seven nine zero thousand seven hundred and ninety thousand. Uh, board, as before, when we finish this, I'll go up with uh, Trustee Stonewood and make copies for this and for the review. The seven hundred ninety thousand. The written number is seven hundred ninety thousand. The spelled out number, the cursive number, says six hundred ninety thousand. So I'm not sure what that is, but the bid is what the bid is. It provides for a land contract uh, in the amount of four hundred ninety thousand dollars down payment allowing the district to pay off the mortgage immediately and $300,000, 120-month loan from the district at 5% interest. It has some additional, other additional provisions. Again, the requirement was for up to a year's use of parts of the building. And I, well, I've got multiple copies here of that, too. I can pass this over to so we've got that to help that. Okay. That mistake on the figure was a typo. That cursive, that spell out. Right. That that should concur with the number. Okay. And the last. received is from Gallery 200 LLC. This was hand delivered uh, to my office on Monday the 29th, which was the due date in time. So, time was submitted. Gallery 200 um, purchased the property. Hmm, another one paid the sum of seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars cursive. That was a but but in, <laughs> but but in parentheses after written numerals nine hundred eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> so we're going to have to play guess the figure. some additional considerations. We'll make a copy of this so the board can review and consider this. I'll, I'll just suggest that the bids are what the bids are. No additional clarifications are going to be. Should, should the, the board should not consider any additional clarifications or comments because the bids are what the bids are. So we'll go and make a copy. I'll make a copy of these two. Or this and hand this out to everybody and then the board can make its do you, do, you, do you want to make some posters of this for the public if somebody wants it, of the Water Street one? I could. Yeah, I mean, just so that when we're done, somebody doesn't say I'd like a copy of it, let me you have it back up again. Well, I, I have my personal information on there. So, so you don't want my, copies? I don't want my home address for that. To the public okay. Things of that nature. Let's just leave it here. If they want it, they can, we can give it to them. We'll just redact. Redact it. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. 
Because he's a hot or he's cold. <laughs> That's how it goes in here. You're either going, yeah. or it turns around and the heat goes off and it drops like 20 degrees. In I guess the whole state fireman didn't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's been the same in the summer. Those, you turn the air on in here. Oh, what, what areas are in condition? Just the whole building. The whole building? Well, not the base. Not the base. Okay. So there's one for you, okay. and one for you, and one for you, and one for me. Um, and as a point of clarification, while I said that the board shouldn't question, I do need to see clarification. Mr. Haby, you clarified that in your bid, the bid, the bid amount is actually the what the numeric the numbers are written out seven nine zero thousand seven hundred ninety thousand not the written six hundred ninety thousand. Right. Okay, let me fix that here. And Mr. Kludjian, having given Mr. Haby the opportunity to clarify his his proposal, your your proposal, your bid has the, a similar disconnect. That the written number says seven hundred and sixty thousand. Whereas the numbers say 980,000. 
what's correct. The 980,000. <clears throat> okay, now that we've clarified that, board, you've received three bids. The bids stand as they are um, with, with the terms. What the board should consider are the terms that we included in the resolution for the terms that were approved by the board for the sale of the property. Any additional, infer any additional um, terms or conditions that they choose to offer are theirs, but not, part, you know, not necessarily part of the bid. That which is in the resolution and that which is in the additional information, the, the additional information clarifying the post-transaction use of the properties. Jesse Sullivan, do you have any comments, thoughts, anything on the bids? Again, you, not, not to be terribly repetitive, but I'm not, not in favor of this board proceeding with this. But clearly, I think one, you know, looking at the two bids, one bid certainly seems to be more attractive than the other. Um, that would be uh, Mr. Kalugians. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. Questions about my, my only que or my question as we work down the road here is um, um, I'm going to try it. Collegian, is that correct? Okay. Considering the appraised price is six hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and you're at nine hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars, is yours a cash offer? Oh yes. No mortgage. There'll be no mortgage. There'll be no contingencies. There's no bank financing. Any of it. Okay. Regardless. Uh, that's right. I asked Mr. Kalugian if, if, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, no, that's right. um, if his bid had any contingencies on financing. And he said, no, it's a cash offer. Um, uh, 14 days from May 2nd, special meeting. Um, if the board chooses to move forward with either one of these, uh, Mr. Kluzian, you said that in years here that it would be valid for 14 days. Um, the odds of this board finishing all the contract is probably not unlikely. unlikely. So are you, is it 14 days? And if it's not done, you're out? Uh, if you don't decide today and it goes on another yeah, 14 days. No, no, I'm saying the conclusion of the contract. No, not the conclusion, okay. just your decision making. Okay. Because I don't want to go back to another got appraisal it. or done them and this and that. Got it, got it. Trustee Grum? Uh, yeah, I, I'm looking at these and I suppose there's a, in, in terms of the best financial situation for the, for the district, uh, I think that has to be taken into consideration. Certainly I'm concerned as to you know, whether or not that can be provided, but, uh, I, I would, I would agree, and, and, um, my, uh, my opinion on this is, I, I think it's neglectful for the, the board that's come this far and has an appraisal on the building of 630, excuse me, $630,000 to walk away from an offer of $350,000 over the appraised amount. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't even imagine why an incoming board would do anything other than say, woo-hoo, uh, we got almost a million dollars for the building. Um, well, and as was just expressed, that is, if we wait and leave it for the incoming board on the 20th, right. we're over the 14 days and the gentleman is out. Right. Any other comments? Um, for what it's worth, the the a cash offer has to be even with the amount I think has to be preferable over um, asking the district to self finance uh, a mortgage. If you're trying to get rid of the building to get into the basically the, the lending business, I think it's really not there's too much risk and not really very appropriate. But well, had had the numbers been really close. I think there would probably be a discussion to be had, but you're a hundred and over a hundred thousand dollars difference. I, I, I said it's kind, it's kind of moot, but you know, right. just the idea of taking a land contract and you know, doing 
so, um, yeah, self-financing. Can I make a comment, please? Sure. The, the one thing I'd like to point out, which is very uncomfortable about this, is that this delay and these refined and revised proposals came about as a result of one of the trustees not acting in the best interest of the trust of the board. That's your opinion. And I'm going to continue to speak, if I may. Mr. President, these comments are not in order. Thank you. But you've received revised bids as a result of someone delaying what should have Public been. Public comment is over, and I believe the now, attorney you know, said. I'll run this, and you have, you have piped up more than once when I've not had open comment. So if you'd like to video, that's fine, but I'll take care of the meeting, okay? If you'd like I to go back to the video, I only talk during the public comment. You can go back to the video all you want. The gentleman asked me if he could speak, and, and I said yes. Your meeting your meeting's being run out of order. Okay, well. Even the attorney you know said so. You know what? You'll have your opportunity in another few weeks. Okay. All right. Let's get, let's get back to Let's get back to all your order. Right. You, 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 you talked about the three bids right. that, were some, you were, that were tender. You talked about you have you have options essentially two you can act on any of the three bids today you, you don't have to act on, and you don't have to act at all you can act on the three or you can defer action until the meeting on may 13th right where i was going with with this i wanted to hear from both the trustees on this and i will tell you although it is very good for the district there's there's no doubt it it pains me terribly to see both these gentlemen have to up their bids because we're here now. At the last meeting, and I'm not here to strike up a fight with anybody, if we had known what you knew four days earlier, we would have never ripped those bids open and we would have retold the people. And it's, it's kind of unfair to both of them but on their own accord, they, they've upped their bids. So I, I think it was wrong to not let us all know what you knew. I think that it... Um, you all had copies of the appraisals. I wasn't the one who found that issue. It was brought to my attention. Right. Four and, and days earlier. Four days sure. earlier. Right. Four I'm days earlier, early. you said. If you'd said, Dan, sure. I just walked in here and noticed this, I get that, Carl. I really do. And I'm not looking for a battle here with you at the table. I just wish that we had known, not for me, not for Bob, and not for Brian, but for these two gentlemen. It, it, it was really unfair for them both to work hard on what they thought was a good proposal and then have them opened and then get dropped on them each getting to see what each other did and then go back. Clearly from the district's end, it ended up working out pretty darn good, you know, uh, from from the original proposals. Um, I think what it did is it took a bidding process and it turned it into an auction. Right. And I think that's unfortunate. I think it was a big mistake. Legally, that's not true. I understand you want to refer to that shorthand, but colloquially, but that's not true. But anyway. Well, what action now? That's what I'm getting to. Um, like you say, there's basically two things to do. Uh, it, 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 you, you've got a bid of, of almost a million dollars here. Um, uh, there's a part of me that certainly says, uh, how can the district not accept this bid? If the new board comes in and says, we're not taking a million dollars, I guess good for them. Um, so. That's uh, that's my thought. You would you would rather forego the bill, the bit of a million dollars and let the other board come in and start their own process on this. Think my position on this perfectly clear. I just ask with with the possibility of losing this bid. With the possibility of losing this bid, you're I've still okay. I've made my position perfectly okay. clear. I do not think this board should be doing this at this time gone down this road is really something that, that should be decided by the new board as to whether they want to sell the building or they want to try to lease the building what they want to do with it. Well we've tried to lease the building and 
had literally no results on leasing the building. Um, what do you want to do? Carl says leave it. What do you want to do? Well, I think it would be extremely irresponsible. Which I, I didn't surprise me, but um, I agree. Those comments, again, are very inappropriate and not very... He's helpful. saying it's irresponsible to not act on a, a million-dollar bid. It was the comment after that. Well, I guess we'll... Uh, I'll throw out the motion and see where it goes. How's that? Um, I'll make a motion to offer Mr. or to accept Mr. Kalugian's uh, bid for nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars cash deal, um, and uh, I guess wish you all the best to work with the attorney to get this closed up, and hope that the new board, uh, when they come in, decide to. Uh, not pull the, no pun intended, rug out from under you. Okay. So we have, we have a motion on the floor by Trustee Rogers. I'll second that motion. Seconded by Trustee Drum. We'll do a roll call vote on this. Trustee Snowblin? No. Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Grum? Aye. Um, that motion passes. The motion passes. Uh, anybody have anything else? In that case, at 526, I will make a motion for adjournment. I'll so, second. Oh, no. what, what time? 526 by Rogers, seconded by Snowblin. All in favor? Aye. Thank you for being part of it. Let's we'll see if the new board feels that responsible. No, I, I think it's a very irresponsible. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Best of luck. I hope the new board uh, well, finishes the deal with you. Uh, I don't know if I have it. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. That doesn't mean anything. No, 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 I get it. I remember. Yeah, I'll the doctor's Three names in the name of the Oh, okay. Um, well, would you put a second up? You know what? I don't know what it's like. I think it's turned from a lot of the I A lot of Thanks for coming. Yeah, I You understand. Okay. Well, I we are working on Yeah, I mean, the appraisers is first if you listen to what you wrote and what I wrote back to you,